Coding Made Easy. Everybody, this is Peter, aka Coding Made Easy, coming to you guys with your next C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be exploring more uh, variable or variable types. So, we learned about the integer, which is a whole number, uh, could be anything, one, two, any negative number, blah, blah, blah. So the next one we're going to be learning about is a float, which is a floating point. Sorry about that. It's a floating point uh, type. So what does that mean? So what we're going to do is we're just going to change these from int to float. So a float is basically a number, any number that can take, um, that can take decimals so it doesn't just handle whole numbers you can put like a hundred point five and fifty point seven now notice when I do that I get a red squiggly and it says you can't convert type to uh, type double to target type float so we have double me a float well I, I'm, I don't want to get too technical into computer science uh, terms and stuff but uh, both float and double both uh, they both can handle decimals it's just that a double can handle double the amount of space in memory than a float more than likely you'll be using float over doubles doubles can just handle much larger values so you wouldn't use double unless you were basically displaying the uh, like I don't know explain something scientifically scientific notation I don't know like any super large number which um, a float could not handle because you put too large of a value inside float then um, you will get um, let's just say you you won't get the values you would want or you run into some errors um, so in order uh, to determine to differentiate between a double and a float at the end We just have to put F and that says okay this value is a float value So without the F it represents a double and with the F um, It represents a float now one thing we, we can do is we can say console right line We can do float dot and we can do max value and then we're just going to put a space and we're going to do float dot min value uh, so let's run this program so this is the largest number we can put inside the float and this is the lowest number we can put inside a float so as you can see you can store a pretty big number inside floats store a pretty large number so it'd be pretty rare that you would ever want to use a double uh, but we can use a double just to see and you can see you can store a massive number inside a double um, but most likely you won't use it but it's still good to know uh, that it's there because you may have a use for it depending on what type of applications you're working on um, so yeah so let's get rid of this so with a floating point number, uh, the same, everything's the same. We can do add, subtract, blah, blah, blah. And as you can see, it will do the math for us uh, like there. And we could, change, we could change it to double and it would do the exact same thing for us. Uh, so let's see what other data types there are. We have bool. So bool is a Boolean value. Um, so it's uh, either true or false value so basically that's what boolean is so uh, is coding made easy awesome set the value to true so you can either pass in a true value or you can pass in a, a false value and we'll get into more true and false once we learn it um about uh, if statements and stuff but uh, we can even um, display this value uh, by let's just make a copy and let's write something to the screen. Is coding made easy? Awesome. And 
then we'll put plus and the variable name. Now see how IntelliSense really helped me. I just have to type IS and click enter and voila, showed up there. So it's code made easy, awesome, true. And the last variable type I'm gonna show you is a char, which represents a character, a single character. Uh, so to create a char, you put the, um, whatever name you want. So let's put a variable name. And inside that we put the single quotes and then we put a single character we want to put. So we can put the value A there. And so we can use the store single value or whatever single character we need to store. And we can display it like so. As you can see, it displays a single character uh, that we've placed in. Now before I don't worry about these variable types, we will be exploring a lot more of them. Uh, we'll be using them more in the future and you'll uh, see the strengths uh, in the real program as we progress to C Sharp. I just want to give you a brief overview of each one of them. But before we end this tutorial, I just want to show you the, the math operations we have for each variables. Uh, so we'll say Peter's health again. And we'll say 100, we'll say damage equals. Um, so we have, you've seen that we said Peter's health is equal to Peter's health uh, plus damage. So we can do addition. Sorry, we you can do subtraction. We can do addition like so. So we'll add the two together. We can do multiplication using the star, the asterisk, asterisk, sorry. So you can multiply and you can divide using the forward slash and that will divide the value for you. Um, so yeah, but those are the various math operations you can use uh, with, uh, with C sharp, C sharp. So hopefully you enjoy this and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and bye for now.